conjugate gradient method is a particular case of method of conjugate directions when the set of directions is built on base on of uh, gradients of objective function. Assume we need to minimize quadratic objective function written here. Uh, at first iteration, uh, we go in direction of minus gradient at the original point x0. This is our first direction. Then we uh, produce exact line search in this direction and uh, compute new gradient and uh, obtain new direction via Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization procedure. There are two possible simplifications of our formula related to expanding manifold property. Uh, first, we should note that from formula for xk plus 1, we can express dk as xk plus 1 minus xk divided by gamma k. Here is in general form. So, in this way, the term qdj become just 1 over gamma j q by difference of axis. Taking into account expression for gradients, we, we can uh, conclude that q by difference of axis is just difference of corresponding gradients. So we get q dj just 1 over gamma j difference of gradients. On the other hand, by expanding manifold property, uh, new gradient is orthogonal to all uh, previous directions. Uh, Q-conjugate directions. But Q-conjugate directions are built by a Gram-Schmidt procedure on the base of uh, all previous gradients. So they span the same subspace. In this way, we conclude that new gradient is also orthogonal to all previous gradients. Uh, taking into account that we have an expression of kind of new gradient multiplied by difference of previous gradients, we will get that uh, all terms in this sum will cancel out, will be zero, except of uh, the last one. And uh, this will bring us first simplification. So the last expression for dk plus 1 will uh, include only one term. In order to get the second simplification, uh, we will write the expression for new direction in generic form. We will denote the scalar expression multiplying dk as beta k. So dk plus 1 is minus gk plus 1 plus beta k dk. Uh, let's look on denominator here. Uh, by expanding manifold property, dk transpose is orthogonal to gk plus 1. So we can remove gk plus 1 from the formula. Uh, on the other hand, we can open expression for dk transpose as one compute on base of uh, gradient gk and previous direction dk minus 1. But dk minus 1 again by expanding manifold property is uh, orthogonal to gk. So we remain with really simple expression. We remain with the product of gk transpose gk in denominator. And this will give us, uh, so it's like g norm squared of gk. 
And this gives us a famous uh, conjugate gradient formula, which is called polity ribbon method. Beta k is just g k plus 1 transpose multiplied by g k plus 1 minus g k and normal normal g k in the denominator. We also can pay attention that uh, g k plus 1 is also orthogonal to g k. So we can remove also g k from the formula and remain with really simple expression for beta k is just norm of g k uh, plus 1 squared divided by normal g k squared. And this gives us so called uh, Fletcher Reeves formula. When we uh, minimize quadratic function, those two formula are actually equivalent, like we showed right now. When we do non quadratic minimization, interestingly, Pollock Rieber method uh, quite often is numerically more efficient and more robust. Now, I will summarize conjugate gradient method. Uh, we will start at uh, point x0, compute gradient, and use minus gradient as phase direction. Then we perform exact line search in this direction. Compute gradient at new obtained point and uh, evaluate new direction dk plus 1 uh, as a combination of uh, the gradient and uh, the previous direction where beta k is uh, calculated by uh, pollock ribier formula or by uh, fletcher reeves formula Pay attention that despite that we developed the method for quadratic uh, functions, it's written here in the form which can be applied for general smooth functions. And uh, interestingly, it is uh, practical to do it so. So you just do real uh, exact line search instead of doing it analytically as you do for quadratic function. And the uh, pollock uh, ribier formula in practice uh, looks uh, more robust and efficient than other formulas for updating uh, directions of conjugate gradients. On the other hand, when we have a quadratic objective function, which is written here, uh, we can perform uh, conjugate gradient steps efficiently. We start uh, with computing gradient at our original point. And uh, this will give us the first direction. And line search may be performed analytically. Because in direction D, in direction DK, uh, our function is also quadratic. Uh, it has a directional derivative dk transpose, uh, gk transpose dk, and uh, it has second derivative, uh, which is written here in the denominator dk transpose q dk. If we apply one-dimensional Newton method, mean uh, minus uh, gradient, uh, inverse Hessian uh, multiplied by minus gr gradient, this is new Newton step. So in one dimensional case, it's uh, minus derivative, divide, uh, first derivative divided by second derivative. In one step, we get accurate uh, minimum in one dimension, and this is simple explanation why this formula is right. <coughs> now, when we move to the new point xk plus 1, we want to compute gradient. For this, we need to multiply matrix Q by xk plus 1. And multiplying matrix by a vector, it's the dominating part of our computational effort. 
we can actually save this multiplication because uh, xk plus 1 is xk uh, plus gamma k dk. So if we multiply it q by xk and multiply it q by dk, uh, we automatically get a product of uh, q with xk plus 1. So we do not need extra multiplication. We need just one multiplication of uh, matrix by a vector per uh, one uh, conjugate gradient step.